Good Tuesday, everyone. I hope you're not like me and thinking today is Monday, um, but uh, I'll get straightened out as we go through the day, hopefully. <laughs> Looking at our USA mortgage level of concern, no heat to worry about, no thunderstorms to worry about, just another um, rather pleasant day on the Cumberland Plateau. Look at our Clearview Closet and Blind five-day forecast. I do have a little bit of um, a bad news, I guess you could say. The forecast is trending drier for this week, um, and we still need rain. Um, but what can we do about it, right? But we do get to enjoy some pleasant weather, and, and it's normally drier this time of the year. So um, drought doesn't, as I said in the newsletter that I put out yesterday, you know, Dry weather just lands differently in the fall um, because we don't get much rain anyway. Now, if you have a dry spell in April, May, or June, that puts you in a deficit pretty quickly because we're, we normally get so much rain that time of the year. So, you know, we'll, we'll we take what we get, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10%. You know, isolated shower or sprinkle possible. But look at those pleasant temperatures, highs in the upper 70s, almost 80 today, 80 tomorrow, low 80s on Thursday, and then we drop into the upper 70s by Friday, and then low 70s on Saturday, and check out that overnight low Saturday night, 43, and we're probably going to be even cooler Sunday night. Isn't that interesting? So... A very good taste of fall coming this weekend. I wish I could say that the front was going to bring us a good chance of rain. I optimistically went 30% for Friday. Hopefully model trends will bump those rain chances back up again as we go through today. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic. And not only are we not expecting widespread severe weather, we're not expecting severe weather this week. So another good news to, to a drier forecast is that you don't have to worry about severe weather. On this day in 1954, that dry air mass I was talking about yesterday continues. Nashville hits 101 degrees, following a morning low of 60. Crossville had a high temperature of 93 after a morning low of 50. <laughs> so what a temperature. So that dry air can really give you some wild swings in your temperatures during the day. 1961, Denver, Colorado received 4.2 inches of snow, their earliest snow of record. And meteorologist marks by the word of the day, cumulonimbus incus, otherwise known as an anvil. Um, I have an arrow pointing to one there. That's where that thunderstorm cloud reaches the top of the tropos troposphere and can no longer go upward. So it is forced to spread out kind of like a pancake. So uh, that's where you get your anvils. Now you can get some lightning out of those if they get thick enough. And that's where you get the bolts from the blue. So you have to be mindful of that when you see those anvils spread out across the sky. But we won't be seeing any of those anytime soon because we don't want to be having any thunderstorms anytime soon. But uh, you can read more there about what exactly an anvil is and how it forms. You folks have a wonderful Tuesday and keep looking up for more weather information, including my new newsletter, meteorologistmark.com.